When certain music instruments like drums and trumpets of various lengths and size are played at the direction of an object while chanting certain hymns mantras then vibrations are generated in the surroundings. Upon increasing the tempo, speed and noise of the drumming then the frequency generated would be very high enough to alleviate an object. It is said that similar technology was used in Egypt as well where they use different types of instruments as we all know that our human ear can hear only when the frequency is between 20 Hz and 20 khz. Any frequency below or above this cannot be heard by normal ears. When a music instrument is played then we can hear only the sounds that is within that audible range. Today researchers have managed to use sound waves to levitate and move tiny particles precisely and liquid droplets. Multiple vibrating plates are used to create different frequencies and move an acoustic field with the particles trapped in it. For lifting heavy stones, the geometric arrangement, and the number of instruments in the group would also be a most important factor. The sound waves being generated by the combination were directed in such a way that an anti-gravitational effect was created at the center of focus and around the periphery, or the arc, of a third of a circle through which the stones moved. I believe that there is not much doubt that the ancient builders had possession of the secrets relating to the geometric structure of matter and the methods of manipulating the harmonic values. <laughs> 